Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making a heart shirt. This one I'm going to do at an incline and I'm going to do it with liquid dye. So to begin, I've taken my shirt, I've turned it inside out, and I'm folding it in half to find the middle. Since this one is a v-neck, I'm only making a mark down at the bottom of my shirt because right where that v comes together is the middle of the top of the shirt. I have a stencil that I've made out of some plastic cutting board and I'm just going to lay that on my shirt and use a washable marker to trace around it. Then I'm going to fan fold my heart. I like to begin at the top of the heart when I fan fold. I think it's easier to make that curve in the heart before you have a lot of fabric in your hands. Once my heart is fan folded, I'm going to tie it up with some sinew. Then, right outside of my heart, I'm going to put two more small lines of sinew. What this does is it gives a little extra dimension to my heart, and it also serves as a little extra stop, just in case for some reason I oversaturate my heart. It doesn't run into the rest of the shirt and kind of get muddied up. It will define my heart a little bit better with some extra white lines. You don't have to add the extra lines. I don't do it every time I make a heart. I just do it occasionally. I like the way it looks. For the rest of the shirt, I'm gonna tuck the sleeves inside of one another and I'm going to try to lay it out as flat as I can and put a few fan folds in it. Then I'm going to tie it up with some kite string. Since the shirt is kind of an unusual shape because we isolated the front of the shirt, the fan folds are not going to be perfect. When I get to the sleeves, I'm just going to kind of scrunch those down in, try to make them as flat as possible and fan fold them into the rest of the shirt as well. Okay, now it's time to start dyeing the shirt. To do this one at an incline, I have a rack that the legs of it collapse. So I've collapsed the leg on one end of the rack, put it down inside of a tub, and laid my shirt on top. For the heart portion of the shirt, I'm going to do that in fire red.
followed by lilac, some grape, more fire red lilac a little bit of wisteria fire red great and I'm going to end in lilac Then I'm going to turn the shirt over and do the same thing on the back side. When I got to the back side and I was dyeing the back side, after I did the area between the wisteria and the fire red, I came back in and put a little bit of grape in between those two colors. I thought that was kind of a drastic color change between the wisteria and the fire red, so I went ahead and put a little bit of grape in there. Then I turned it over and did the same thing on the other side. Once I completely dyed the front and the back of my shirt with all the purples and the red, I came back in with a dark color called Imperial Purple, and I put a light coat of that over both the front and the back. I didn't mess with the heart, so I didn't put it over the heart area, but I did all the other red and purple areas. Then I just left my shirt on this rack and let it process for about 24 hours. Alright, so here's what our shirt ended up looking like. If you all are enjoying watching these videos, I sure would appreciate you subscribing to my YouTube channel. You can do that by just hitting the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.